Hey friends, we're gonna get started today. First, we're gonna do drill sound warm up. We're only gonna use the um, standard cards again, so I need your teacher to pick a drill sound leader. While I'm switching frames, they can do that. Okay, drill sound leader, remember you are going to say the letter name, the keyword and the sound, and then when I point to you guys, you are gonna repeat the drill sound leader. I'm pointing because baby Echo is hiding right now because <laughs> friends were trying to steal him. So baby Echo's um, having a nap for the moment. So go ahead and get started friends. Drill sound leaders, take it away. Everybody, A, Apple, ah. Drill sound leader. Okay friends. A N G Fang Ang A N K Bank Ank I itch I N G Ring Ing I N K pink ink. O octopus ah. O N G song ong. O N K honk onk. U up ah. U N G long ung. U N K junk unk. E ed e. Eh. C H chin ch. C K sock. Great job, drill sound leader. Now we are going to look at our <coughs> vowel extension posters. I mean, our R control. Whew, I'm having an issue there, huh? Okay. Remember, guys, we've been talking about R control vowels. R control vowels are when our vowels are followed by an R. So here are our vowels A. O, E, I, and U. And after each of those vowels is the letter R. That makes them an R-controlled vowel. The two we're talking about this week are A-R and O-R. A-R says R as in car. O-R says or as in horn. We knew that one, right? Because O-R is a trick word, or. And OR is part of our other trick word, for. Like I have a gift for you, not the number. So you're going to repeat me. A-R, car, R. Your turn. A-R, car, R. O-R, horn, or. Your turn. O-R, horn, or. We're going to move on to our trick words. And you are going to see if you can read every word correctly before I flip the screen, okay? Ready? Let's go. Before I move on, what is the meaning of this two? We said that there's two words. If I can replace T-O-O -O in a sentence, two in a sentence, with, with these two words, then I know it's spelled T-O-O. -O. Who can tell us those two words? That's right. Also and very, right? It is too hot. That would mean it is very hot. That makes sense. So it's T-O-O. -O. I want some ice cream too. 
if I said, I want some ice cream also, that way I know it's T-O-O. There's our R controlled or Great, now it's time for story time. I'm gonna show you the story. I want everybody to read the, um, the title of the story. The title is right up here in um, dark letters. I'll circle it for us. Right here is the title, so I want everybody to read the title. Once you've read it, I want you to give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up once you've read it. Okay, who can tell us what the title is? That's right, it's the pink dress. Who thinks they can make a prediction? Remember a prediction is where you're using what you know to guess what the story might be about. What is this story maybe gonna be about? Who can tell us? Yeah, something about a pink dress, right? Absolutely. We're gonna go ahead and read it. We're gonna read two to three sentences at a time. You guys are going to try to read it yourself and then we will read it out loud. So here is where we are trying to read. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna change my mind. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have your teacher call on one person to read one sentence at a time. After you read the sentence, your class is going to repeat it. So your teacher is gonna keep this here until you have had a chance to read all the sentences. And then you're gonna practice reading it the whole story as a whole class all together. So once you've done that, your teacher can start this video again. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to tell your teacher what to type in here for the character setting and main event. Remember, we've talked about this. The character is who all is in the story, the who or what. What's the main character in the story or who's the main character in the story? The setting is the when and the where the story takes place. 
and the main events, that's what happens in the story. So you and your teacher are going to fill this out. Your teacher is going to um, go ahead and type it in here as you guys discuss it. And then we will continue on. Once you've finished that, your teacher can start again. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of the punctuation. I've noticed a couple things in this story. Who remembers what these are called? What is this called and what does it mean? What do these marks mean? I noticed it. there's a starting one and an ending one. That's a really bad arrow down here. There you go. What are those called? Who remembers? They're called quotation marks. But what do they mean? What is a quotation mark? What does it tell me as a reader? That's right. It tells me that someone is talking. So someone is saying all of this, right? Jess, you have to get a dress at the shop. Let's go and you can try some of them. My question though is, who just said that? How am I going to figure out who said that? A lot of times, if you look either before the quotes or after the quotes, you'll see that someone's name is there. So see right here, this one said, mom said, and then it has what mom said. And over here, Mom said this, and then it says, said mom. So you have to look at the clues, right? And she actually said what was over here too. So you have to look at the clues, right? This one I want you to figure out. Who said this one? Can I try this one? Who said that? I don't see anything saying a name. I don't see the word said. How am I going to figure this out? Look at the story and tell me who says. Can I try this one? That's right. It's Jess. Jess, the little girl, is the one who's saying it because she's holding up a dress. It's telling us she's holding it up. So she's the one saying, can I try this, right? Awesome job. Now down here is one that says, just said, and then it says what she says, right? Thank you, mom. Good job. Now, I want you guys to tell me how a sentence starts. Who can tell us how a sentence starts? That's right. It starts with a capital letter, right? Here's the beginning of a sentence. Here's the beginning of a sentence. Here's the beginning of a sentence. I'm noticing that when you guys are writing, a lot of you are still forgetting your capital letters at the beginning of a sentence. Who can tell me when else I make a capital letter? Like this word, this isn't a beginning of a sentence, but it was still capitalized, right? Why is this word capitalized? That's right, because it's someone's name, just as the little girl. Absolutely. And here, mom is capitalized when she says something because it's not talking about just any mom. It's talking about Jess's mom, right? So it's that mom. Just like you might call your mom, mom. You might call her mommy, you might call her whatever, but Jess calls her mom, mom. So when she says mom, she's calling her by a name that's referring to her mom. Great. Um, if there's anything else as a teacher you want to discuss with your kiddos that you feel they need to work on, please stop this video and do that. Otherwise, we are going to move on to the dictation. For this, teachers, you are going to have 
your students get their wind books. And this is one where it is a check. So you will have them put the check at the top in that box and they will um, turn it in. You, we will not be going over it. So I'm not going to go over any of this because it's turning it, it's turned in for a grade. Okay. So here is the first sound. I want everybody to say, or. Then I want everybody to spell or and then give your teacher a thumbs up. Sound number two is R, R. Spell the sound R and then give your teacher a thumbs up. And sound three is ch, ch. Everybody say ch. Give your teacher a thumbs up once you have it written. Now we're gonna move on to revert, review words. The only thing we're gonna mark in our, re, in our words this time um, is if there is a base and a suffix, okay? So we're only looking at in our um, glued sounds. So if we have a base or a suffix or a glued sound, that's what we're gonna mark for our review words. The first word we're gonna do, we're, review word number one is fog. Everybody say fog. Tap it out, write it, and give your teacher a thumbs up. Make sure to mark it if you need to. Word number two is webs, like spider webs. Everybody say webs. Go ahead and tap it out, write it, mark it, and give your teacher a thumbs up. Now we're down here at current words. Remember we talked about these having blends, which means that you can hear all the sounds in a blend. So if I were to say st, you can hear the s and the t, right? So we tap all the sounds. So all of our words are going to have multiple sounds. The first word is dump. Dump. Everybody write dump and then give your teacher a thumbs up. The next word is the word bust. Bust. Tap it out. Write it and give your teacher a thumbs up. Remember guys, our review words have four sounds. I mean our new words, sorry, current words have four sounds. Okay, we're gonna look at our trick words. Our first trick word is the word could. Everybody say could. Say the letter names, write it, and give your teacher a thumbs up. Trick word number two is the word should, should. Go ahead and say the letter names, write it, and then give your teacher a thumbs up. Okay, look at our sentence. There are two tall boxes. Two, two of them have tall boxes. Remember that means capital letters, so that tells me this one, probably someone's name, right? Because we said earlier, just a little bit ago in the story, that a capital letter is how we start a sentence. Okay, so here is your sentence. I wish Kim would not brag. I wish Kim would not brag. I wish Kim would not brag. That is your sentence. Once you are done writing it, Go ahead and give your teacher a thumbs up. Great job today, friends.